Divrei Hayamim Aleph. Chapter 11. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David in Hebron and said, Here, we are your own flesh and bone. In the past, even when Shaul was king, it was you who led Israel's military campaigns. And Adonai your God said to you, You will shepherd my people Israel, and you will be chief over my people Israel. So all the leaders of Israel came to the king in Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron in the presence of Adonai. Then they anointed David king over Israel, as Adonai had said through Shemuel. David and all Israel went to Yerushalayim, also known as Yavus, and the Yavusi, the inhabitants of that region, were there. The inhabitants of Yavus taunted David. Taunted David by saying, You won't get in here. Nevertheless, David captured the stronghold of Tzion, also known now as the city of David. David said, Whoever attacks the Yavuzi first will be commander-in-chief. Yoav, the son of Tzeruiah, attacked first and was made commander. David lived in the stronghold, therefore they called it the city of David. David built up the city around it, starting at the Milo, earth rampart, and going on around, while Yoav repaired the rest of the city. David grew greater and greater because Adonai Tzevaot was with him. These are David's chief warriors, who, under his rulership, joined forces with him and with all Israel to make him king, as Adonai had said concerning Israel. Here is the list of David's warrior heroes. Yashovam, son of a Hakmoni, the chief officer. He is the one who raised his spear against 300 men and killed them in a single encounter. After him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Akhoki, one of the three warriors. He was with David at Pas Damim, where the Pelishtim had assembled for battle. There was a plot of ground full of barley, and when the people fled from the Pelishtim, they stood in the middle of the plot and defended it, killing the Pelishtim, and Adonai saved them with a great victory. Three of the thirty leaders went down to the rock and came to David during harvest season at the cave of Adulam, when the army of the Pelishtim had set up camp in the Rephaim Valley. At that time David was in the fortress, and the garrison of the Pelishtim was in Beit Lechem. David had a craving and said, I wish someone could give me water to drink from the well by the gate of Beit Lechem. The three broke through the army of the Pelishtim, drew water from the well by the gate of Beit Lechem, took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink it. Instead he poured it out to Adonai and said, My God forbid that I should do such a thing. Am I to drink the blood of these men who went and put their lives in jeopardy? They risked their lives to bring it, and he would not consent to drink it. These are the things the three warrior heroes did. Avishai, the, the brother of Yoav, was chief of these three. He raised his spear against three hundred men and killed them. Thus he had a reputation even among the three. Of the three in the second rank he had the most honor, and was therefore made their leader. However, he did not achieve the status of the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kavziel, was a man of many exploits. He struck down two lion-hearted men of Moab. One day, when it was snowing, he went down into a pit and killed a lion. Here is how he killed an Egyptian, a man who was very tall, seven and a half feet. The Egyptian had a spear in his hand the size of a weaver's beam. He went down to him with only a stick, seized the spear from the Egyptian's hand, and killed him with his own spear. These are things that Banayah, the son of Jehoiada, did that earned him a name among the three warrior heroes. He had more honor than the thirty, but he did not achieve the status of the first three. David put him in command of his personal guard. There were also these warrior heroes. Asahel, the brother of Yoav, Elchanan, the son of Dodo from Beit Lechem, Shema, the Harori, Haletz, the Peloni, Ira, son of Ikesh from Tekoa, Aviezer from Anatot, 
Sibkai the Hushati, Ilai the Akhoki, Marai the Notofati, Haled the son of Baana the Notofati, Itai the son of Rivai from Giva, from the descendants of Binyamin, Banayahu from Piraton, Hurai from the Vadis of Gaash, Aviel the Arvati, Azmavet the Baharumi, Eliachba the Sha'alvoni, the sons of Hashem the Gizoni, Yehonatan the son of Shaga the Harari, Achiam the son of Sakar the Harari, Eliphal the son of Ur, Hefer the Makarati, Achia the Peloni, Hetzro the Carmeli, Naarai the son of Ezbai, Yoel the brother of Natan, Nivkar the son of Hagri, Tezelek the Ammoni, Nachrai the Beroti, armor bearer of Yoav, the son of Tezeruya, Ira the Yitri, Garev the Yitri, Uriah the Hitti, Zavad the son of Achlai, Adina the son of Shiza the Reovini, a leader among the Reovini, and thirty with him, Hanan the son of Makah, Yoshaphat the Mitni, Uziah the Ashrati, Ashtrati, Shama and Yiel, the sons of Hotam the Eror. Eroir, Eroiri, Yediael, the son of Shimri, Yocha, his brother, the Titzi, Eliel from Machavim, Yeravai, and Yoshavia, the sons of El Naam, Yitma, the Moabi, Eliel, Oved, and Yaasiel from Matzovaya. End of First Chronicles, chapter 11.